Old. One is an acknowledgement that there are others who are less fortunate than you. Secondly, you are doing so to better. So God is God does not need your fast. God needs what is going to become of you as a result to better you. So the goodness is is equated by God. So we have to lead a life according to His commandments. So what He tells us is unacceptable, we refrain from. What He says is acceptable, we then pursue. Because God is the overall founder of objective morality. He, decide, he decides what is morally acceptable and unacceptable and what is the commands. It makes perfect sense because you very observantly pointed out that it needs a manual. So if there's a creator, he will need a manual or he will need a, an instruction on how to lead one's life. And then we will be accountable for our actions on the, when we are resurrected. Let me ask now, if I didn't have the possession of the manual, I would not be... Under the same I'm, type of rigorous questioning? No, I mean like, I'm not aware of it, you are. So, so let me explain, end, yeah. So in our... It was something that I did without my, me being aware of it. And some of you, for instance, if you know and you do it, bad thing. Yeah. So you it's much worse. Worse, well said. You You're very analytic. You're very. I'm, I'm very pleased with that you've analysed this very, very quickly. So, for example, if you never heard the message of Islam, then there may be some actions that you do in this world which you will acknowledge in your heart. You know, there can only. For example, you. You acknowledge that it's only God, there is one God, but you're not sure about which path to go according to what belief. But what we will say to you is, don't worry, you won't be on the film. Okay, it will be blotted out. So. Um, uh, what we say to you is therefore you come to you come close to God by his commands that's the number one point I'll try to address so the manual is your guide to life Islam claims to have the very best guide to life the repetitive prayers you're doing on the daily basis will keep you close to God we bow then we need in prostration then what do we do then I've explained the other things we fast then we give charity then we once in our lifetime we go for the pilgrimage to Mecca and then we testify there's only one God, the prophets are, are the messengers of God. Then we lead an honest life, we do good works, we, are, we give charity, we help the poor, we help the needy, we do things which are pleasing to God, we don't lie, we don't cheat, we don't do things which are going to displease God. And we make sure of that. We, you we cannot generalise this, please, because you know, everyone has their, their uh, awareness. Okay, yeah. you may say that, but you cannot talk in the name of all... Uh, all people. No, 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 I'm not speaking. I'm not. I'm, I mean, no. like we don't do this, we don't do this. And what I'm saying to you, if, if you do something from ignorance or not knowing, yeah, then that's a different thing altogether. I'm not. I'm not casting anyone on that. But in terms of your question about what happens in there, so for you or someone who's not familiar with the tenets of Islam, you will. There will be a test for you on the day of judgment. God will give you a test as well. Maybe because I was born in a Christian country, so probably I would just defend them what they were. Yeah, it's but not like I'm free of prejudice. Yeah, but then gonna, it's going to be incumbent upon you to think one day, if you're sitting at home by yourself, having a cup of tea, just thinking about the you think, and then one day a thought might come into your head, that the God, you know, he must be so magnificent. He can't be like this Christian, he can't be a man. No, no. It doesn't make no sense. I'm, so if a Christian to believe I, that Jesus... Yeah. Many times I'm sitting and okay, uh, we want to, we're talking so much about God, but we feel it less in our heart, like we, we do, we, we lose, we, we choose a big word to describe God, but we, we lose to, we want him in our heart to be better, to be more like, I don't know, what, how indeed God will want, want us to be. See, yeah. that's, you know what you said is very interesting. Because that is what God is expecting of you. So, to, to fulfill all these actions and now have no spiritual connection with God and continue doing things which are unacceptable to God, then it defeats the object of you praying or fasting. Or do, it defeats the object. You must learn from those actions to better yourself. So that is God. Even God, God does not need your hunger. He doesn't need it. God does it for your betterment. Reflect. So when we're fasting, we are, what you say, you're hungry or thirsty, you're remembering others. Secondly, you are invoking to yourself that I've got to better myself. It's not good just me fasting and I'm, I've done a great deed. No, you've got to see what comes out of the result of fasting. So it's a spiritual connection to God who wants you then 
to fulfill yourself by becoming a better person in every way which I've described to you. And hence, this is why Islam is the most conclusive way of living to mankind, you see. Because it inculcates all those points I made to you. I have lots of friends who are Muslim. Well. Do you have a Quran in English? Can I give you a Quran in it free of charge? Oh, oh, wait, just one there. We've got, we've got hundreds of free Qurans there. Wait, it's free of charge. Yeah, of course, let me give it to you. Just give me two seconds. Oh, this happened. Hey, Madam Esri, that's a little gift for you. That's a Quran, some literature there for you to read through. See what I mean if you get the opportunity to do so, and um, I'm sure you'll find it very beneficial. But this is the guide for mankind. Thank this, you. Okay, and it makes sense because you know what you believe intrinsically about God. The very best concept of God is given is given to Islam because he's not like his creation. So it's not a man, it's not a woman, it's not an idol no, or a that fantastic, which will therefore lead me, which will therefore lead me to believe. That upon examining Islam sincerely, by the will of God, you will come to this religion. Many people are coming, particularly from people of your area of the world in Eastern Europe. Regularly meeting many, many people. It shocks me. I offer a leaflet. Oh, thank you, Mori Muslim. A blue, a blue-eyed, blonde-haired girl who is Eastern Europe. Well, I think what's going. You don't have to. Yeah, but Allah guides. Allah's not going to leave you just because we have, I'm a born a Muslim. This will make me better than you. You understand? What happens then? is Allah is going to observe me and then, he's, then he will pick p people to, to come into his religion so as well. I will say, not by coincidence I met you. Pardon? Not by, by a coincidence I met you. Precisely. No coincidence. Because you know, out in our daily life, we're always rushing here, there, because of the business of life. But time for reflection is the sensible individual because our reality is we will perish one day. And that is something which you need to consider, where we all rather need to consider deeply. Hence, have a good read. We're here regularly. Thank you. Two to seven. Well, go to your friend. It's just waiting for you. Delighted to speak to you. Thank you. All the best to you. Take care. Take these ones, please.